Do some women truly just starfish in bed? Yup, they exist and I've been with a few in my life. People have their own reasons for it though. One time it was with a girl in college who just like didn't react to sex. I'd stop during sex all the time because without feedback it felt like I was fucking someone who didn't want it. Half the time she gave out to me for stopping. The other half she'd deadass be like, why'd you stop I was about to come. How in the name of God I was supposed to deduce that from zero hints was beyond me. I found out after we stopped sleeping together that she'd had an ex who used to berate her for moving or making noise during sex. I felt pretty shitty for being weird about it. I think starfish is a bit harsh but I would say a lot of women I've slept with don't really do anything proactive and it makes a big difference when you find someone that is. I've been the dead fish and it was a real struggle to turn this around in order to have a much happier and fulfilled sex life. This happened to me because I grew up feeling ashamed about sex. Feeling self-conscious about my body and not being educated around how fulfilling sex life can be. Yes it happens. One time I had sex with this girl from one of my classes. She just came over to my dorm clearly with the intention of banging and got on my bed. So we started doing it and she just kinda laid there. It seems like she thought sex was purely just something men do to her. Was not enjoyable at all and neither of us finished lol. Oh shit I thought you meant sleeping which in sleeping cases I am alpha starfish tears of joy see no evil. I've been exposed. Briefly dated a girl who starfished in bed. At first. I thought it was me. Like maybe I'm so lame she just isn't feeling it. Instead she was just simply the type that laid there and barely communicated with me. Terrible sex. Between that and her dislike of Mexican food it was clear from early on that things weren't going to last. Yes. They do. In my head I refer to my ex GF as the mannequin. She complained some way into our relationship that the sex was no good despite her barely participating and despite me asking periodically over the months if there was anything she'd like to improve or anything I can do better and being met with, no everything is fine, each time. Seriously. Man. How do you expect to be satisfied if you just lay down? Stay silent. And give no clues whatsoever as to what you want? It's distressing. Is what it is. I feel deep shame at the idea of people saying that I'm lazy or bad in bed in general behind my back. So please. If you're a woman reading this. For the love of God try and help out a bit if you don't already. It does. Woman here. I was in an abusive relationship before my husband and I got together. After going through the abusive relationship. I found it difficult to do anything but just lay there during sex for a while. I've since worked through it. Still have tough days. But don't assume that all women that do this are just lazy, inexperienced. There are learned behaviors sometimes. From previous experiences. Guy here. Yes they do exist. Bonus points if they also complain that they didn't come or complaining that the sex was bad. Afterwards. At least give me some feedback or let me know what you want during sex lmao. Maybe I've just been lucky lately. But it seems like this is becoming a lot less common. Maybe it's the internet. MTV. Or whatever. But women embracing their sexuality and actively participating, is much more common than even 10 to 20 years ago. I'm 46 by the way. Whatever the reasons. Thank God and heaven above. Yes. Drunk dead fish. Very annoying and weird. Makes you feel rapey. 
I don't think a lot of people equate this to what it actually is. Dissociation. In my experience, as well as many of my friends if we don't feel comfortable saying no or stop to sex then it gets really hard to perform. I don't know why this would be comical or how people aren't putting two and two together. But if you have a woman who seems to not be enjoying sex, dot she probably isn't. Even worse than starfishing is just getting in the doggy position from the get-go without any sort of foreplay. Just remove clothing and got on the bed in doggy position waiting for me. Standing there with no erection. Expecting me to just start plowing her. It felt clinical but clearly this is how she's been experiencing sex so I just felt bad for her. Those are the girls that say, you couldn't handle me in bed. I had a GF many many moons ago complain because she never came. I asked her constantly if there was anything she wanted me to do to, for her and she always said no. So I told her if she wants to have an orgasm she needs to actually take part instead of lying there. Like a dead fish. She was shocked and mortified because that's what she thought you was supposed to do. I explained it to her and even sent her information about it etc etc but she still frickin' star. Fished and complained so I just ended it. I couldn't deal with being with someone who wasn't willing to communicate with me. Edit. Dyslexia FTW. It absolutely does happen and sometimes it's not a big deal but like if I wanted to fuck a dead body I'd go work in the morgue. The hotter the girl the higher the probability of the starfish. I have slept with slump busters. That rocked my world and models that I could not tell if they were alive. Yes. Sadly. I think it also has to do a lot with insecurities. I might suck. So I better don't do anything. I'm aware of the irony. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.